Howdy, howdy. This is Blue Otter. Today we are continuing with Mega Aquarium. We are on the last level, Megalopolis, where we are going to be big, building a mega aquarium containing the largest fish on the planet. So welcome to Megalopolis. The final challenge awaits. Here in Megalopolis, you are tasked with building an aquarium fit for the largest fish in the world, the whale shark. It's a long road ahead. First, you must build the aquarium from scratch using everything you have learned until you reach the lofty heights of rank 12. Rank 12 is the maximum rank achievable and you will have access to all the tools required to house the whale shark. Your aquarium will eventually grow to a colossal size so you should plan your layout carefully so that it is easily easy to expand. I will be in touch once you have grown to a moderate size happy building. All right, so we have not yet opened. Uh, the first thing I want to do. Um, yeah, so we are literally starting from scratch. One of the first things that we're gonna, we're gonna check our messages real quick. Okay, so we do have some fish for sale. We have a flame angel fish, a volatans lionfish, and a porcupine puffer for sale. Um, so the first thing we're gonna do is I am going to look at what tanks we've got. Uh, do not have the Balfast tank that I was hoping for. Um, what fish do we have? Okay, we do have moderate amount. Um, I know as soon as I click to open, we're going to be researching, um, some very, very basic stuff. And I think we just, we end up getting like all the, the plants just open up as we, uh, rank up. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is I actually want to have this huge Belfast tank here. And so towards that end, I think we're going to, uh, we're gonna start with having a corner tank right here. And I'm just going to put in some walls um i'll put in some doors later and we're just going to actually i take it back we're gonna do i could do one two three let's come back up and we're gonna do a wall tank and we're gonna do the maximum size which is three i only had that out just so i could make sure that it was three awesome all right so that gives us two to start uh we're gonna look at what kinds of fish can i have so this is a wimp this is a bully so i cannot have this one and the king the arabian blue line dotty and the king demoiselle together um all of these eat orange so we're going to start, um, what is this? Cannot be with that. Goes up to a five. How big is this aquarium? It is a 23. So I could have uh, four of these. One, two, three, four. Um, he is only upset because of uh, water temperature is too low, which I totally get. We are going to open this just a little bit. Um, we can actually run that a little bit more. It's still going to be closed to the public. Um, and I think, so the red tail butterfly fish is, I still want to have a huge 
Belfast tank right about here. Uh, so let's see, what other fish can we have? Let's do... Uh, cannot be housed with a coral grouper. Uh, soldier fish. We can do... Um... Do any of the, none of these have any issues with it. Okay, so we can do an Arabian dotty back there. We're gonna do an orchid dotty back. So we're gonna have some multiple fish here. Um, Royal Graham. Let's. Uh, so here we have. Things. Okay, so we've got these three. I'm not going to be able to fit that one. We can do the Azure. Because he'll be, he'll be a little bit smaller. But they should all be fine. Alright, so we do need 60. Uh, so we're going to do a... have a little bit of getting some things around so that still needs a little bit more uh, a little bit more filter I only need a little so I'm just gonna add this little small basic filter and that should be fine for uh, for that one we can put a door right here and then we are going to add a green pellet dispenser and a orange pellet dispenser. And then we're going to, um, are we going to do okay so we are going to what other fish do I have left to do I do still have these are these are the smaller fish so we can do a it needs to be at least four I can fit at least so what we're going to do is we're going to have a because uh, again I want a, I want a lot of room for that that Belfast tank it's gonna go right in here and be able to sell things and have benches and more um, so we are going to look at this one we are going to add our King Demoiselle and we're gonna have one two three three four um okay so from there we're going to have is that enough that is plenty uh they also eat orange so we're gonna put an orange there and then we're just going to um wrap this up in a nice little door uh, we will eventually expand on this more so uh, when we start, uh, but let's see, so we can do a, right here we're going to have then a corner tank and we're going to put in our yellow tank we can be one two three four let's expand this again um, I like to have 
my doors good working order okay so we're going to have a basic pump right here connect um, something I will do is I will eventually have these replaced um, I might even expand further down uh, what other fish do I have I do have the black bar soldier fish the coral grouper zebra moray eel I want to do this I like doing this one with having the for me gobies are like those little small fish that you see that poke out um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do another wall tank so here we're gonna have it's just gonna be the exact opposite of this side but we're going to have a basic pump right here go to this one we're going to uh, just cannot be with light can only be will be a nine okay so hold on so that's 23 so I could have a nine and an eight if I do two of these uh, that's 17 so I could have one coral grouper and two black bar soldier fish um, then what we're going to do is we're going to look and see if I if that is sufficient that appears to be enough uh, they want some cave so we're going to come down here um, I want at least five cave so we're gonna give them a bit of a rocky overhang and then these need some flower some sorry um, some plants so we're gonna give them some sea grapes they don't need it but we're going to give it to the, them anyway because um, guests don't like to have uh, they just don't like to have empty spaces they feel like that's unfair to the fish uh, to an extent I kind of agree uh, but I know that if sometimes the fish are fine with just having um, they're they're just fine with having a little bit of of um, they're they're just fine with having little to no um, little no decoration all right so with here we're going to add a orange and we're going to add a muscle and then over here we're going to add a green uh, so the next thing that we're going to do is actually I take it back we're going to move these um, I might move these somewhere else because what I wanted to do was have one last tank that we're going to build and it's going to be this observer tank and yeah we're going to do it just like so uh, but we're going to move this and have this go all the way back move this back one um, get back let's move it over one more 
So one of the things we're going to do with this one is scale. So whereas normally I would have um, I might only have this one like two apart. We're going to be focusing on like threes um, unless I really want to do a forced uh, walkthrough. Um, so we can have a door here and we're going to have a door right there. Uh, now in this one, what we're going to do is we're going to do the zebra moray eel, which will grow to a nine. Um, he will need several things. Uh, first off, we need, he needs two cave so we're gonna actually give him does that no that's probably not that would be cool um we're gonna give him on i think right here um and then it does not require any thing like that so we're going to come over here and see if that is enough that one is plenty uh we do have the muscle feeder right here so we're going to actually put that right here and we're going to put the orange right there so that way you can access the muscle for either one and the orange for this one uh something we're going to work on is we need to work on doing uh, a work zone so this would probably be my work zone a with my starter animals i do believe i have one of everything except for my my goby and i have plans for i want to actually incorporate some other animals with that one uh, so with that, we're going to hire, uh, we have Poncho, uh, ideal first employee, cheap all rounder. Um, so yeah, we're going to hire Poncho for feeding. And then Wade is a bright Marine biologist graduate who can learn to work equally well with machines and animals. So feeding and fixing, we're going to hire. All right. So with that, the last thing that we need to incorporate in here is one, we need some tool stations. Um, so I'm going to put a tool station over here. I'm gonna have a tool station right here and here. And just because, yeah, we're gonna put another tool station right here. For now, I do need a broom stand. Uh, we will put a, two broom stands in place. Um, and then one, the last thing we will need is a uh, toilet venue for our guests. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to actually open this up so that we, so that the, uh, the people that are needing to go to the toilet uh, can go to the toilets uh, but we are going to make it so that there is the sponge sink is right there there is a doorway that prevents them from coming in and then we are going to add uh, two toilets facing the correct way one two uh, we do need to add a bin we'll have two bins on either side there we will have another bin right there and another bin right there so that way we have plenty of room uh, just so that they can have plenty of access to doorways um, so this gives us the opportunity to actually expand out this way with a hallway, expand this way with a hallway. We just have to move some things here. Um, 
but then we have room to have our Belfast tank right here, uh, which I plan on having two walls on either side and being able to have so it'll come around as a um, kind of like the uh, the goalposts at a at a football game where you've got the single stand and then like a Y like a tuning fork. Um, so with that we have I believe our two employees. We did have two employees. Uh, we're gonna have a little bit more focus on fixing for right now. Um, I do need to I do need to work on work zones, but that will set us up for all of our fish minus the goby, which I have plans for. Uh, we'll have a nice little coral tank and we'll add the goby into that. Uh, we are ready to open. And we're going to select our first research. Uh, once we get that open, let's do a fizzy drink. We will eventually uh, switch those out for something else. Um, okay, so with this, I kind of want to, as much as I would love to do the coral, I don't have the lights, I don't think. Um, and I would like to try to get some of these smaller ones first. Um, so I might be able to have maybe over here open it up and have a, a small another tank that's just small fish um and my plan is eventually to actually replace these with the the deep tanks um and only keep like the smaller tanks for that but we'll see the science comes in this one i know adds 18 science so maybe it's just waiting for me to have any amount of science um there we are all right so one of the things that's going to be the biggest one is i of course i want this deep wall tank uh what do i have nothing's really isn't there the large filter the large heater and the protein skimmer are all going to be crucial um so first let's do the protein skimmer because that will help with a lot of infra a lot of um research and stuff so here we can we we go up here and we can click at a glance and we can see i've got a lot of ecology that can be gained and as well as a lot not not too much of science Let's see, I have 30, 18, that's 48, plus another, that's 56 science total. A lot more ecology. So we're going to come back over here. We're going to finish out that level one. And we can actually go ahead and move this feeder over to here. Um, one of the things that I am going to definitely want to upgrade uh, as soon as it is available is that power pump so I can start getting all of these on their own system. Okay, so we are just, we're going to wait till we get at least one more fish done. Um, that's going to, again, give us some damsel fish. Uh, now the only one we have left is the peeper. Um, yeah, it's only 50, so I'll go ahead and grab that one. Uh, it won't take, it shouldn't take too long to, to get the, uh, the peeper. Um, in this one, we are going to do a, we'll have a Subnautica tank, uh, possibly as a Laguna tank, um, but we'll only put in um, just the minimum so that that way we hopefully don't outgrow the tank and pay more attention to the size requirements. Um, so we can see we definitely, definitely underutilizing this tank over here. All right, so we're going to pick our next research. 
And here we have uh, several of these little two fish, uh, two size fish. Here's a pygmy angel fish. That looks really cute. Um, so yeah, I'm thinking we might be able to do, uh, we're gonna be able to do a lot with this small fish section. And one thing that I would kind of like to do is actually have the Belfast tank and have uh, numerous uh, places that people can uh, that people can uh, access. Let's see. There gives some. I do need to make sure that I have. Uh, um, keep keep up with like the these data signs um, that will help with some prestige. And keeping up with things such as the uh, the seating and things. So with that, uh, we are we're going to. some of our next fish uh, we'll do that one um, so I definitely need to focus on getting more so this one's not being viewed as much um, I definitely need to focus on getting more um, say you can't house more than one um so i think we're going to um what is in here coral grouper let's move the coral grouper over here um, and then we can uh, put in two more soldier fish back there. So that will help hopefully get... Yeah, so this observer tank is now worth like 48 points. Um, so I'm going to look at getting some fish. Here's Blue Line Damsel. So this one, because it's it's 15 and 3, um, that will actually be a lot of science. Maybe I might want to, since this is unlocked with ecology, do I have anything? Ooh, the Panther Grouper is worth 42. Uh... I'm looking to see really quickly if there's anything that's going to be able to beat uh, this requires some skill we're going to do the one stripe anethyst and we'll, we'll maybe start to include and have like a, a small wrap around segment over here that comes out and goes around um, so with that, we're going to call this session, uh, this episode over, um, but we will continue in the next session. Thanks for watching.